We're going to have to contend with a bit of a dishevelled Charlie today because it's Tuesday. It's the day that I allow my hair, which is currently rather greasy, we do not want a middle parting, to rest. And it's a bit warm outside. So I've completely lost my train of thought because I started talking about my hair again. It's one of the perils of being me. I have constantly thought about my hair since I was a child. It's a weird one. I have talked about it much and more. This weird obsession, really, that I have with my hair. Like, skincare, out the window. Caring for the body, out the window. Arthritic, out the window. Asthmatic, out the window. Hair? Yeah, we'll put some flame and focus on really bad hair. Since last we spoke, I have had a birthday. I'm a year older and I did not celebrate it and I thought that I would talk about that here. Um, side note, do not be surprised if you end up with a sequence of wool gathering videos as opposed to any sort of actual bookish content at the moment. I am trying to use every spare moment to get the final Doris book finished, uh, but the last fortnight has been a bit weird in terms of busyness. I don't usually get this busy, otherwise July wouldn't have had such a crazy TBR made. But birthday. As I mentioned last year, I ended up feeling rather worthless uh, due to last year's birthday and this year just decided let's throw it out the window and decide not to celebrate it, protect myself really from any feelings because if you preempt uh, being disappointed then you aren't going to be disappointed. So what I did was that I told everybody I would not be commemorating the anniversary of my birth this year, which really wasn't that difficult because since I was about, well, for 10 years at least, I have had to acquire my own gifts. And about two or three years ago, I said that I was fed up of just buying my own gifts and calling it rent money. Uh, so for the last few years, unless it's been my sister or people at work, then the substantial amount of books that I would get for my birthday that I had acquired myself, I wasn't receiving anymore. Because, you know, birthdays were getting to be quite a big expense for me, and it just seemed weird uh, to be acquiring gifts for myself when I buy books throughout the year anyway, so it just felt like I was just bulk buying in July for no other reason than I happened to be a year older. So that disappeared. I got rid of that. And then the last few years, uh, certain things have happened, uh, certain ways of being treated meant that each year I was being more and more disappointed and it was causing more arguments at home. And basically, I just thought, I don't need to feel like that. So I said, let's do away with it. Let's just decide not to celebrate anymore. That way, as I said earlier, gets rid of the disappointment because I know exactly what's coming, nothing, and gets rid of any feeling of worthlessness. And you know something? It actually worked. My one regret was that I didn't remove it from Facebook. Uh, but that's because I deleted Facebook off my phone and I only tend to use it for marketing purposes for the books. Until someone mentioned that there were a few messages on there, I didn't really look at that, but... Yeah, I am now a year older than I was four days ago. Three days ago.
My birthday was Saturday and it's now Tuesday, so whatever that was. And I was in work on the actual day. And it was supposed to be me, one volunteer in the back room, and then one volunteer on the till, a, a different volunteer in the morning and the afternoon. The one from the afternoon was unable to work and the one in the morning had to leave after two hours. So it just ended up being me and one volunteer in the back just juggling all the jobs for the majority of the day. It was a quiet day and that is something last week was a really weird one because usually we have a quiet start to the week and then it builds up and we, you know, as you get towards the end of the week and the weekend, you make more money. It didn't happen that way last week. It did the opposite. So it was kind of a big explosion at the start and then petering off towards the end. But otherwise, it was quite a good week for the charity shop. We've had a rather large doll's house donated and that's in the window. We don't think that it'll sell now. We do imagine we're going to be taking it out and trying to sell it at Christmas. Uh, but we thought it needs a bit of repair work. So if somebody bought it now, perhaps for a child or a grandchild, they could do that repair work and then present it to them at that time of the year. In my previous video, I mentioned how I had been looking after my nephew prior to last week. Then, last week I'd worked Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday and Thursday were supposed to be about me getting writing done and getting reading done. Which day was it? It must have been Tuesday. I took everything downstairs with the intention of getting all of this done. And immediately as I got downstairs, both my father and my younger brother had jobs for me to do that they needed me to do. And so by the time I'd finished doing this work for them and dealing with all this other stuff, it was one o'clock in the afternoon. My mother was about to head off out and I've now reached this point of being quite fractious and restless, which I know can only be solved by going for a walk. And I couldn't take Sally because she was still in season at the time. So I decided I was going for a walk. Bear in mind, whilst it wasn't hot, it was still, it was starting to get there. For whatever reason, I chose to wear my wallies, my jeans, my raincoat, and a bobble hat. It was as though I was getting ready for winter. Either way, walked for an hour and a half. I went back down the canal, which I haven't done since April because of the dog. And whenever I start walking towards the canal from my house, she doesn't like the main road because of all the traffic. And I've yet to find someone who is willing to drop me off at my entry to the canal and pick me up after an hour and a half. But it was nice to go back and have this walk along the canal. I only saw two people. I got stuck behind one person for the majority of it. And I must admit that slowed down my pace somewhat. I, and I did overtake someone. It was this young person on their phone. And they really wanted to capture a picture of their dog and a heron. A heron, I should say. But throughout the entirety of being stuck behind her, or them, they, mm, they just spent it all on their phone, walking incredibly slowly. And I just took a moment when they'd stopped to overtake them. I could not cope. I was like, you might think, I, I don't want to steal your dog. I've got enough dogs at home. Just get out my way and allow me to walk. Well, she must have slowed down a lot because I never saw her again. Either that or she fell in the canal. You know, wasn't looking, paying attention to what she was doing because she was looking down here and just sauntered straight in. She only had like a little labradoodle type thing. That didn't have the strength to pull her out. I've not seen anything in the papers, so I think it probably didn't happen. <sighs> but that was Tuesday. And... I ended up sending a message to Emily of Noval Novels because we're supposed to be reading the Karamazov Brothers and saying to her, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to catch up with you next week because I just haven't found the time. Indeed, I didn't actually get to sit down and read any of the book until this Sunday. I can't even remember Thursday. 
Oh, I can't remember Thursday. Thursday was the day I finally finished reading The Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, because I decided I needed to do that. I was, I forgot I was reading that book today. I meant to bring home The Two Towers, but I didn't because I knew I had to read the Karamazov Brothers. And, ugh, I'm just, I'm feeling really irked that I haven't been able to get as much read as I wanted to get read this month. Similarly, I'm getting annoyed that I haven't managed to write as much. And last night I didn't get go to sleep until after one o'clock. And I know most people are awake at the moment because of this heat wave we're having in the UK. But that, that wasn't even it. I'm finding that the only time I have to actually get any writing done is after 11 o'clock at night. I'm trying that. I find that when my family see me downstairs, they immediately are going through this phase again where they think that because I'm there at my computer and I, they can see me, I'm not at work, so I think they're still doing that thing again where they think, oh, Charlie can help me with this or Charlie could get me that cup of tea or that food or it's just... I might start sequestering myself in my room again, which is what I did to finish Alice Valentine, an heir to murder. <sighs> because, as I keep saying, this book is basically all planned out. And I know I said about how lackadaisical I am, and I am lackadaisical about it, and I don't mind a slower writing process, but it's different when you're in the mood to write and find that you're unable to because of other obligations or things that you feel obligated to do. And also when you want to read and you want to write and you have all these things that you want to do, all these plans, and you're unable to do them because of other things like work last week or trying to help them with stuff. This is not a revelation to anybody. Um, I'm sure we all have lives that sometimes get in the way of the creative pursuits. It is fine. It is universal. And it's not really too much of a bother. I saved Cards on the Table by Agatha Christie from work. This is another one that probably would have been going in a rag bin because we tend to not be able to sell these smaller editions. This cost three ninety nine when it was published. Can you imagine a book at three ninety nine nowadays? This edition, this edition is from nineteen fifty seven apparently, so it's older than my mother. It can't have been published in nineteen fifty seven. It can't have been because it's telling me here that she was made a dame in nineteen seventy one. So why haven't they updated? Why haven't they updated this page <laughs> to tell me when it was printed? Yeah, well, sometime within the last 70 years, this book was printed. And sometime within the next 70 years, I'm going to read it. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. Return it to the whole birthday thing. I should mention that I did receive a book from Charlie, of Charlie Brooke, in commemoration of of the day and that was An Ordinary Wonder by Buki Papillon. I would get the book down but I'm sat here now so I'll leave an image here and I cannot recall what this book is about. I thought I'd got the NetGalley edition and I hadn't so Charlie offered to send this book to me for my birthday. I said that she didn't have to because I wouldn't be celebrating it but Charlie's kind like that. The volunteer I was working with got me a pen and a crossword book. And I think that's because I keep stealing the Daily Mail crosswords that she leaves for another volunteer. I only do the general knowledge ones. Um, anything else is too difficult for me. And then my manager came in with a basket full of vegetarian snack foods, which came in very handy on the Sunday when I planned to just stay at home and decompose 
And I got left with my nephew again because my older brother was coming down, well, my older brother came down from Scotland, did some farm work down here, and then he and my, he kidnapped my younger brother, really, and took him back to Scotland with him. Um, but to be fair, it's, it's the sibling dynamic, really. He gets, this is the, it's difficult to explain. How to explain the, the older brother that's one up from me is closer to my sister and my younger brother, while they're both younger. But I only have one sister, so it's easier to just say sister. Well, ugh. anyway, he's off in Scotland for a week and he should be coming back on Sunday because my sister's supposed to be going to a sheepdog trial in that part of the country. <sighs> so she'll pick him up. Exciting, I know. Invigorating. I've had nothing philosophical at all to say about life this week. I've had no meanderings about anything. I can't even talk about books or films because <laughs> I haven't been watching anything other than the compilations of people dying inside on YouTube. Uh, and even then I'm not watching many, it's just like that, the American Dad Christmas specials, the Bob's Burgers Christmas specials, and last night I watched a Halloween episode from The Simpsons. And it's just, I sit there and switch them on whilst I eat my tea. And then try and get my Italian done and catch up on nothing. You know, there's been some times where I've just sat in my room for about 20 minutes staring at the wall thinking about nothing, just wanting to be quiet. And <sighs> this morning my mother came into my room about half past five because Sally was in here took Sally off to the park for a walk before it got too hot. But I was awake then, and I'd only been asleep for about four hours. So that's fun. I ended up getting up at about five to seven and started clearing the table and hoovering up in the living room. Because sometimes I feel like if you've got a clear working space, it makes it much easier to write. The only thing putting me off this next part of writing is the fact that it's got to be another Doris speech. And Doris is renowned for speeches in some of the earlier books. And this time I've got to figure out how to be offensive again. And Doris hasn't really been that offensive in this book. I don't know what I want to read now. I still have the Karamazov brothers to catch up with. And... I have Soul Taurus by Bernadine Evaristo downstairs. But I also think, do I want to read something a bit fantastical and easy and light? We'll see. Um, there's no guarantees. But I am going to go downstairs now and I am going to have a beverage. I cannot decide whether it'll be a cup of tea, or a coffee, or an iced coffee. I do not know. But it will be one of them. And then I'm going to type up everything I have written. And then I will sit there and be disappointed by the fact that I have not written as much as I thought. Because that's what I do. And I'll probably listen to music whilst I do that, but do I know what I'll listen to yet? Nope. But I'll see thee when I see thee. I hope that you... Oh, I didn't mention that to you. I'll tell you a nice little anecdote. I always joke about the fact that people in Macclesfield can't afford H's. Because sometimes I drop H's out of words. I used to say H and got told off by someone at uni that it was supposed to be H. Now, my last name is Heathcote. 
and we had someone come to do a spot of whatever they do and you have to sign for it and she asked my name so I said Charles Heathcote she heard Heath because that's what I said she didn't hear Heath so there is now a little tiny bit of official documentation where there is no H at the start of my second name and I can't lie that really disappoints me because I quite like the way that my name looks when it's written down and when it starts with an E it just looks incredibly awful but that's the issue can't afford H's and sometimes we drop T's as well just an issue when you're from the north of England Tarachuk, because until next time, that is all.